guys welcome back to my channel so this is my second Valentine's Day look and it's just a very glossy pink really easy glowy kind of look and I really wanted to focus in on the highlight and as you can see the highlight yes I just wanted this to look really glossy and soft kind of sultry or whatever sexy for Valentine's Day or whatever so hopefully you guys like the look and if you do keep on watching all right, so as you can see, I already have one eye done, so I'm going to go ahead and do this eye on camera. So the first thing I'm gonna do is fill in my eyebrows, and I'm going to use my BH Palette Day to Night palette. I'm gonna use this brown color, and I'm gonna use a small angle brush, and I'm just gonna lightly fill in my brows. All right, so now that the eyebrows are done, I'm gonna just take some more of my NYX Dark Circle Concealer that I just used to carve out my eyebrows, and I'm just gonna cancel out all the color in my lid. So since this look is all about like natural glow and just glossiness, I'm not gonna get my eyelid too ready, so I'm not gonna um, bake my eyelid, I'm not gonna put more concealer over it or make it too matte because I want my natural oils, my natural shininess to shine through. So I'm gonna go straight into my eyeshadow and for it for my eyeshadow I'm using the All About Blush Palette which I believe I got from TJ Maxx and it was like four dollars I know I didn't pay more than that and I'm gonna use this brown shade in here to do my little transition shade and I'm just gonna wing it out a little bit to here all right so to deepen that up a little bit I'm gonna use this purple color this one and just place it right below where I put that brown All right, and for lid color, just as a base, I'm gonna use this pink color in here. All right, for the lid color, I'm gonna use first my rose gold elixir that I got from Body Beauty Glazed. I got it off of Amazon, it was really cheap. So I'm just gonna take a little drop, and I'm just gonna place, ugh, take a little bit less, cause I just, I got oil in my eye last time I tried to do this. So I'm just gonna take a little drop and place it in the center. And then I'm gonna take this All About Glow palette, which is just like the All About Blush palette, same price, and I'm going to take this lightest color in here and just kind of break up the powder. I mean, I'm being pretty rough with it because this was a really cheap palette, but I wanna get some powder, like some powder flakes to put on my eye in order to mix, kind of, I'm gonna kind of like make a cream eyeshadow if that makes sense so it's going to kind of mix with this oil that's on my eyelid and you want to make sure that it's not too oily that it has just the right amount of oil otherwise it'll start to crease and throughout the day you'll have like this crease of eyeshadow and you don't want that after that I'm going to go back into the blush palette and I'm going to go back into that light pink color and just buff everything out and make it look a lip a little lighter more vibrant looking a little bit and I'm also gonna drag it down to the lower lash line all right for brow bone highlight I'm gonna use my Becca shimmering what is it called my Becca shimmering skin perfector poured highlighter in opal and I just added a little bit of oil to it and I'm just gonna mix the oil a little bit so I'm kind of making the cream become more of like a, like kind of like the Fursali gel, like jelly highlighter, kind of like that. So I'm just gonna add it to my brow bone. And it creates this really like wet kind of highlight, like kind of glowing from within, like oily kind of highlight almost. But that's what I'm going for, like something glossy, something that looks like I just have really healthy skin, you know, kind of like that. And then I'm just gonna buff it out with my blending brush and that's also going to go in the inner corner and I'm also going to take a little bit and put it in the very center of my eyelid 
I'm gonna go on to mascara. So I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar Mascara, and I'm gonna use the primer side first. I'm also gonna do my bottom lash line as well. All right, so once that's dry, I'm gonna go back in with the black side. Okay, so that's it for the eyes. So on to face now. I'm gonna start off with concealer. So I'm gonna start off with my Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. All right, onto foundation since my skin is now pale because of the winter and I don't have any money to buy anything new, which means I can't buy any new foundation that actually matches my skin color, I have to merge some of my foundations that I already have. So I'm gonna merge my L'Oreal Blur Foundation in Sun Beige and my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in 315. So after that, I'm gonna contour with a liquid contour because I'm not gonna do a lot of powders since I want this to be a very glossy kind of look. So I'm gonna use my, my Fit Me Concealer in 30 and I use it as a contour shade. Now, since I don't want to look oily, and I'm sorry, I look a little bit oily right now, I do have to add some powder to my face. So I'm going to lightly set my face with a little bit of my Milani Powder Foundation in Natural Tan and this big fluffy brush. And I'm just going to really quickly, just lightly, very lightly, powder my face. By using a big fluffy brush, you make sure that you don't get powder concentrated in just one area or concentrated at all on your face. It's just really lightly and evenly distributes the product. But for the spots that need a little bit more help, so like around my smile area and like right here where it starts to look oily, I want to get rid of that. I kind of want to matte all that out so that that looks a little bit more two dimension and then the rest of the face, so like this kind of shine, will shine through. But you won't see like the smile lines and then the bags being accentuated anymore. So I'm going to use my Ulta Press Powder Banana Powder and take my little beauty blender I'm just going to swirl it into the product and then just start dabbing. See, so you can see the difference how this is clearly highlighted, the under bag area is highlighted, whereas this is more matte. So this area being matte allows this area to shine through and be more accentuated and more visible. And for highlight now, I'm gonna go back into my Becca highlighter. I'm gonna use that little brush that we used before. And I'm not gonna add any more oil because there's already enough oil on here. And I'm just gonna start highlighting the crap out of my face. Okay. Woo! Hello. Good morning. So you can see the difference how this has no highlight. And this does. Ooh, yeah, it does. Oh, are y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Ah! <laughs> The thing about this look that I really like, especially with the highlighter, is the longer it sits in your face, like the more you wear it throughout the day, the more natural it starts to look and the more just 
like your skin it starts to look. So you don't, I'm not going to set my face. You can absolutely put setting spray on. I'm personally not going to just because my skin gets dry. So having all of these liquid oils on my face right now, it's actually making my skin look healthier and look better. And throughout the day, as I wear it, it's just going to start seeping in and just going to start looking a lot more natural and a lot more like, this is what I actually look like, kind of. So I'm going to leave it here without any setting spray. All right, so on to lips. I'm going to use my Smashbox lipsticks that I actually got as a Christmas present. I did not buy Smashbox. I cannot afford that. So I'm using B Legendary Lipstick in Inspiration and in Famous. So I'm going to take my blending brush and I'm just going to kind of blend the two lipsticks together and get rid of some of that shine. And then I'm going to take some of that highlighter again and place it right in the center. All right, so that's it for the face. Let me just go do my hair real quick and then I'll be right back. All right, so that is it. I just put in my hair. I literally put in my hair. Check out my Instagram link down below for that tutorial. Yep, this is the completed look, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this glossy Valentine's Day look. Super easy, didn't use a whole lot of products. Um, hopefully I taught you guys a couple tricks with that oil, you know? I mean, oil will really like change your life. Seriously, like my skin started flourishing when I started using oil. I'm just saying. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, um, click the like button, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and check me back here for my next video. Bye!